Today on Toy Shiz, I, I, I just don't know which one to shoot. Ah! Let's talk toys. Welcome back everyone, Toy Shiz here, and I am back yet again to give you guys another fresh look. And today we are totally checking out pretty much the newest He-Man Origins, Masters of the Universe, Mattel Wave featuring Evelyn, Fisto, and Merman. Finding that faker has been something else, I'm just saying. But don't worry, he'll show up in this video. I really like the fact that there's a Fisto in this line. He's one of the most unfortunate names, I guess you could say. But Fisto really reminds me of like the old 1920s boxers slash carnival circus strongman kind of thing. He's got the big mustache, got the big beard. So that is cool. I like to see the dynamics there brought forth, especially in the artwork that adorns these card backs. It is simply astounding. You get to see everything he does. Fit sword in hand, punch people with fist. Here's the barcode for him with Merman. This is actually pretty cool. So I didn't pick up the previous PowerCon box set that they did. This is the Lords of Power. That's what LOP stands for, if you're wondering. A little sticker on the box. So this is technically a reissue slash re-release for the retail market of this particular box set, Merman. I think there's a few differences, let's say paint-wise, but for the most part, it's pretty much the exact same Merman. So it's the redone version. Again, really gorgeous artwork. That's fantastic. Whatever that monster mole octopus creature is, let's get that going in a box, right? He's got a corn cob sword to him. Here is the barcode as well, which brings us to Evelyn. This is the second Evelyn thus far in the He-Man Origins line. And if you're wondering, much like the LOP sticker, this one's got a Masters of the Universe sticker that coincides with the 2000X version that came out in the early 2000s. And it's this version of Evelyn. She has white skin as opposed to the yellow skin, more redesigned look to her. So in either case, it's nice to have both. The artwork, still amazing. Yes, we're going to be getting Stinkor and then that new fan channel selected Triclops with the comic book colors. So he's coming as well. Fit crystal ball in the hand, twist powerful, blah, blah, blah. And here's the barcode for her. Now, finally came across Faker. <laughs> that was a pain to find. Just say, everybody wants a faker, right? Evil robot of Skeletor, just like the evil ghost of Skeletor. Skeletor has a ghost and a robot. How anyone would never be able to tell it's not He-Man. Maybe it's the blue Smurf skin. Who knows? But here's the barcode for him as well. So in either case, finally, very excited to check all four of these figures out. So sit back, relax, grab yourself a nice hot cup of coffee. This is a look at the brand new Mattel Masters of the Universe He-Man Origins Wave whatever <laughs> Faker, Fisto, Evelyn, and Merman. And of course here is the wild colorful cavalcade of characters out of their packaging each one having their own little niche of the He-Man world like this Merman character. Now I do have the prior one we'll compare and contrast in just a few however he comes with the same sword. Really wish that the sword, the weapons, had more paint on them, just to kind of elevate it a bit. But it's the exact same body, albeit this one has some extra added armor pieces to him, and it is much appreciated. I like the way this merman looks. I kind of dig this version a whole heck of a lot better, especially in the face. I like his boots. Everything really just goes together well on this guy, and he's got a creepy-looking wide-eyed face going on so you know what yeah it definitely works for me in contrast to merman i would say evil lynn this version is okay but i kind of like the yellow skin better i just think that it fits the whole wackadoo world of he-man better this one i guess they're working on changing the knees or you can get a version that has the different knees I guess I got the old knees, but in either case, it doesn't really matter. For my taste, she's got the same exact weapon, just a different color. Minimal paint, what paint is there is good. Overall, she's good, she's okay. She's just okay, and that's really all there is to it. Now, with Fisto, the unfortunately named Fisto, I really like this guy's face sculpt, except that he's kind of perpetually looking off to the side, right? Something's going on over there. What is it? We don't know, but... I like the look of this guy. He's got his own little vest going on. 
minimal tiny little shorts <laughs> boots the nice big fist of his right there right big old silver fist it all works it's wackadoo it's funny it is what it is but uh, yeah you just don't want to get fisted by fisto sorry this is it has to do it i like the sword sword could use a little bit more paint that's all there is to it and then yes finally we're taking a look at faker the guy that every time i walked in the store i totally thought skeletor was him i got all excited no never was until recently thank god right i like his big orange sword i think all the colors work for this guy i like the big red hair chucky finster hair right the dark boots to the lighter blue skin everything is orange and colorful and fun you can go ahead and pop off his vest and you see the robotics underneath and i know the prior original faker had like a sticker this one is right on there so you don't have to worry about it peeling off and as you can see between the two mermans i definitely like this lords of power version better i'm not a huge fan of the catfish monster face i mean it's the original looking one so it's classic in that sense but i really do feel like the lop version just fits the he-man world better again in contrast i like the prior version of evil in i think the yellow skin is more fun yeah I know, it's very simpsons ish i guess you could say but in the whole wackadoo world of Masters of the Universe, yeah, it's just more fun. Faker with Skeletor, I think they look great together. So they all scale nicely. They all look good. It's fun to kind of build up Skeletor's troops with all the bad guys. And then, of course, we have Fisto taking a ride in the new Air Raider, which I'll have a look at very soon. It deserves its own video in its own right. It's awesome. So that's going to wrap it up for my look at one of the newest waves of he-man origins by mattel yes the wave with stinkor are technically kind of hitting look for them more starting into september but yeah these waves just keep coming and they hit hard and they hit fast so if you need them definitely grab them i would say that faker is a must-have fisto is a lot of fun merman is awesome evelyn you're gonna go either way with me on that one i think the yellow one is cool but i think this one has its own merits too plus if they come out with other he-man 2000x series figures it'll go well with them so i'm curious to know what you guys think about these new he-man figures are they for you will you be grabbing comment below let me know let's talk everything he-man origins and i'm gonna leave you guys with that as always drink some great coffee eat some great food but most importantly remember I shot the wrong He-Man at the beginning of the video. <laughs> Spoilers. And when you do, let me know what you found. I'll talk to you guys soon. Adios.